Okay, well, she loves science and she loves wine. Dr. Chris Wakira is pairing her two great passions to help fill what she says are the gaps in the system. Frustrated what she saw in healthcare and in the wine industry, she got involved. Dr. Chris Wakira uh, Chira meets us from Stanford Health and the CEO of her wine company. So, thank you for being here. Um, on the surface, it seems like those are very separate passions, but really when you examine them closer, there are a lot of parallels when it comes to access, race, and exclusivity. Absolutely. And when it comes to the wine industry, the underrepresentation as far as winemaking is concerned. We, it's a multi-billion dollar industry. We are more on the consumer aspect of it. But because of lack of either funding or education opportunities, we are not represented in sort of the, the winemaking, the sommelier um, aspects of the industry. Let's talk about the wine industry because that's even, there's even less okay. representation there. I mean, only one tenth of right. one percent of winemakers mm -hmm. uh, are or owners in the wine industry and the wine industry is huge so right. it must feel extremely lonely in that poor room it absolutely is and especially being a female black wine maker it's absolutely it's, it's a much smaller minority um, the funding aspect of it the distribution aspect of it so when i came into this industry the, those are one of the two main things so i went out to um, napa sonoma regions and i was enjoying all um, building community over bottles of wine but i saw as completely underrepresented when it came to the service behind the counters and the folks who were making these wines we were just nowhere to be seen and i could not find wines that complemented my cuisine my, uh, my Kenyan cuisine, I'm, I'm, um, I'm Kenyan-American, and I needed to find wines that complemented my mother's and my grandmother's cuisine. And so I came into this industry, wanted to, for one, wanted to craft a wine that did that, but also wanting a wine that I could build community around. And also crafted, um, built a distribution network that would also distribute makers of color women and locals and, and one you, of the locals that we distribute is actually um, who's hosting us today. Okay.